morning, everybody, and welcome to another episode of What's Shaving with Angela. I'm Angela, and today's going to be a good day and a good shave. And I, I believe I'm going to be the first person to review this new product that just hit the market. And the new product that hit the market, the fine, from fine accoutrements, sorry, from fine accoutrements, this is what they refer to as, let's see if we can get it focused in, the world's finest safety razor. I got an email from Fine Accoutrements because I, I signed up to their newsletter that they were coming out with a stainless steel safety razor that was that, in their words, was inspired by the 1930s Gillette new long comb open comb razor. But from my eye, from what I can see, if you look at the comb, it's more. I don't know if you can really see it, but it looks more like a hybrid of a closed comb and an open comb razor, kind of like a Muley R41. And this. This razor, they made 100 units of these, and it, the, you know, the price point is $165. So here's some of the details. It's $165, made out of 316 stainless steel. It's made in China. Only 100 units were made for the first initial launch. The length is 3.35 inches or 85 millimeters. The weight is 3.39 ounces or 96 grams. One thing I was disappointed with was the packaging. I haven't shaved with it, but I was very disappointed with the packaging because instead of putting it in a, even a cardboard box that had a nice print on it, they put each of the items in their own unique plastic baggie. They had a plastic baggie for the base plate, for the head, and for the handle. So for that price point, I was kind of disappointed. But we will see how it shaves. I have a, crisp, I have a fresh crystal blade in there. The rest of the items I'm going to be using... From fine accoutrements, their 24 millimeter stout shave brush with with a with the synthetic angel hair and shave soap and aftershave wise, I'm going to be using fine Santal Absolute, which is their take on Art of Shaving Sandalwood scent. It's, it's basically a one note scent, sandalwood. So I'm going to wet the face, lather up for the first pass, and we'll see how we'll see if the world's finest safety razor really lives up to its name. So how's everyone doing out there? Having good shaves? Let us know in the comments. And, and just a forward, just to let everyone know, I'm not a sponsor of Fine Accoutrements or Mr. Fine. I just thought it would be nice to use some of my fine products, fine branded products with the world's fine safety, with the self-proclaimed world's fine safety razor. Just to keep things simple. I, I, I thought it would be nice. And besides, I do enjoy Fine Accoutrements' shave soaps because they lather nicely, they're triple milled, and very affordable. The soaps, at least, and the aftershaves are very affordable. But, yeah, I was very disappointed with the packaging. You know, for $165, I was hoping for at least a cardboard box. At the very least, a cardboard box with a nice print on it. Holding the razor safely. Not three little Ziploc baggies. Hold each baggie holding a part of the razor. I mean, there are the baggies do have information of of this details on each part, but it's kind of disappointing. But we will see how it shaves. But I am happy to have this in my den because there's only a hundred units of, of they only made a hundred units for purchase. Okay, got a nice ladder going on. 
So I'll rinse off my hands and dry them off. But I will say a positive about the razors I've noticed so far, it's got a really strong grip to it, or a really nice, deep, knurled grip. Like, when you hold on to it, when you hold on to it by the knurled ends, it's not going, it's not going anywhere. So far, so good. Not really doing it's doing its job of mowing the stubble down. Then again, we're only on our first pass. We'll see how pass two and three fare. It is fairly easy to clean out, or, or somewhat easy to rinse out with hot water. Yeah, it's got like lather chambers for the lather to rinse through. So that's good. On the base plate at least. Okay, that was the first pass finished. We're gonna relather and wet the face. We're gonna wet the face, relather, and for the second pass, cross the grain. But with the grain was so far it was a good shave with this with the world's finest safety razor. No cuts or irritation to speak of that I can see. So so on the first pass, so far so good. Let's see how the second and third passes fare. And again, I'm using a crystal straight double edge. I'm using a crystal branded D blade, which is basically an Israeli persona blade rebranded, or rebranded as Israeli persona blade. Is basically what crystal blades are. Is they're rebranded persona blades made in Israel, or persona platinum blades, I should say. This brush is pretty nice, the fine stout brush, but every now and then I do get a hair, loose hair falling out. But other than that, it's a nice budget alternative to the Simpsons Chubby 2. Especially if, you know, because that's the, the fine accoutrements his stout shave brush was based off, was basically designed after the Simpsons Chubby shave brush as a cheaper alternative to the Simpsons brand. And it is a nice brush. Just every now and then I get one or two loose hairs. Okay, 
The brush, this brush itself, I think, I bought off of Fine's website for, I believe, 30 or so dollars or less because I had bought it was a buy more, dip, save more dealy. Where if you bought more items, you got to save more items. Mind you, the, the Fine Couture Monsters for World's Fine Safety Razor is not eligible for buy more, save more. But it is still eligible for free shipping. At $165, I was wanting to be free shipping. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. So far my across the green shave is going very well. So maybe this is a very this, even though it's Chinese made, it's a it's a nicely well it is a even though it's made in China, it is a well made razor. It's not too aggressive, not too mild. It's like a Goldilocks razor, like just the right levels of it's like right in between. Or just right. Like just the right, level, right amount of levels of aggression and mildness. So maybe I can forgive Mr. Fine for using industrial packaging. I will give him credit. He does admit on his website that the razor is packaged in industrial packaging or something like that. In other words, he's, he was say he does admit it's made. He admits it's made in China. He admits he's not using a luxurious packaging set setup. So, so they do. They are upfront and honest about that. I gotta give them credit where the credit's due. They they openly say it's made in China. They openly say they use industrial packaging. But this is actually a very good razor, surprisingly. Surprisingly, this is a very nice razor. And I bought this. With, I bought this with my own money. This was not given to me by a fine accoutrements to review. I bought this because I wanted this. Okay, I see a little cut up here. But that's probably a trouble spot. Or, or, or I'm not paying much attention because I'm yapping while shaving. Oh well. It's not as bad as it could be. And finding the right angle with this razor is, is a breeze. Not a lot of audio feedback, but it is there. But there is audio feedback when once you get the right angle, and that can be very helpful in letting you know if you're shaving or not, or whether you're shaving or whether you're scraping or whether you're not doing anything. Okay, that's the second pass. We're going to rinse off the razor. Wet the face again for the third and final pass against the green. And I have to say, because I used to own the fine marble safety razor, but I piffed that a while back because it just wasn't doing any good for me. Like it was, I found the marble razor too bitey for me, for my liking. Like the the fine marble razor that came out last year or year whatever, you know, that came out last year or the year before, 
I forget when it came out, but when it came out, I tried it out, and I, I thought the fine marble razor was a little too aggressive for my liking. No matter what blade I put it in, I always got big cuts off of it. But with this world's fine safety razor, it's a lot more forgiving. Way more forgiving than the fine marble is. This may be, the world's finest safety razor may be a keeper for me. Good ladder look going on there. Rinse the hands, dry them off. So we don't drop this high end razor. Or for me, high end razor. Pardon me. Just had to clear my nostril out of shave cream. It's not pleasant having shaping up your nose, as we all know. Or shave soap, whatever. But I'm really impressed with the... I'm really liking the grip of this handle, this of the World's Fine Safety Razor. It's not as deep and it's not as deep and rolling as the Rex Ambassador or the Rex Envoy. But I would say it's on par with with my Razor Rock Game Changer handle. Like it's got enough grip that you're not you know you're not gonna drop it. But it's not, but it's not super deep, but it's not super deep in their own like the Rex razors are. But this is a nice feature. You know, I always like, I always like a good grippy or deeply knurled safety razor. Even though I rinse it off frequently, it's nice to have a good knurling on a safety razor. To me, that's the mark of a quality razor. Is how how good a grip or how deeply neural the handle is, and there's very little underhang, overhang. There's very little overhang on the safety razor. On the sides, you know where the tabs are. So you do have to be careful about if you if you're one of those wet shavers that has to worry about overhang, just be slightly careful with this razor if you decide to invest in it. Because there is a tiny bit of overhang, but not a lot. Not like the, not like some of my vintage Gillettes, where there's a lot of overhang. Okay, that finishes the shave. Let's take a look in the mirror for any, not really any damage is being said. Very little, if any, almost no damage to speak of after three passes with this razor. So, I gotta say, I give the razor two thumbs up. So I'm gonna rinse off the face and apply the fine Sansol Absolute aftershave, which, is, which matches the soap I just used. 
Fine sounds absolute. Time for a little Santal Absolute by Mr. Fine. And I will say, today was a very fine shave, both figuratively and literally speaking. You know, it was a good shave all over today. Time to finish it off with a lovely aftershave. Oh, yeah. It's got good burn to it. Okay, that finishes the shave, and I will and I will say, well, I will say for the fine for fine accoutrements, world's finest safety razor. That's what they call it, the world's finest safety razor. I do like it a lot. I I am not one hundred percent certain I would call it the world's finest, but it's definitely up there as one of the good greatest razors. It's definitely up there as one of the, one of the greats. Maybe one, maybe my maybe it'll make my top ten modern safety razors. Only time will tell. But for today's shave, it was really good. It wasn't too aggressive. Wasn't too mild. It was just like a Goldilocks shave, just right, like right right in the middle of aggressive and mild. So I could see this being a daily driver razor for some people. So yeah, we'll see how this plays out when I shave with this some more. But I I, I do believe it's going to be staying in my den for a while. Well, bro, well, everybody, have a good day and have a good shave. Goodbye, everyone.